It may be an unusual sight as a large plane soars only 1,000 feet overhead. But inside, researchers are on an important mission as they tackle air pollution. We can understand the science behind air quality much better than before. The project is called Aroma, and it studies how air quality has changed over the years at a higher detail. There's a lot of new sources that we haven't seen in the past. From the East Coast to the West, NOAA and NASA are focusing on cities with the highest air pollution, and the Central Valley made it to their 2023 list. It's dominated by agricultural emissions, by oil and gas. There's a lot of transportation. There's also transport into the valley. So there's a lot of things that are happening in this area that are, that are somewhat unusual. And it's also a valley, so it keeps the pollution in. Researchers flew overhead last week in NASA's DC-8 aircraft, equipped with 30 different instruments to study air quality and chemistry. In the Central Valley specifically, we're looking at uh, compounds like ammonia, like methane. Those are often from agricultural. Collecting up-to-date data on which pollutants are causing the most impact. Volatile chemical products are a large source of pollutants into the atmosphere. So that's day-to-day -day products that we all use. So those are personal care products, cleaning products, prints, inks, paints on the wall. What's collected now will help researchers improve the future of air quality and how it's forecasted. To, to improve the science that's needed for future modeling, for future understanding of, of what regulations actually make sense.